with that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually uh, have to say goodbye to you for now, Julian. Thank you for your help on the contract. You're welcome. Very productive. Always. And what, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and, and, you know, in this scenario again, it's one of the insights that we got is that, that sales in Asia are lagging behind um, what we've seen in, uh, in the United States. We're trying to, to dig in a little bit deeper, make an informed decision as to why that is. I see some smiles out there. Uh, we'll, we'll, find, we'll figure out what that is. So I'm going to go back to the team side, and this time I'm going to go to the um, Eurasian team side and back to Northwind Traders. And in this case, I want to go to reports, and I'm, I'm going to uh, <coughs> go to edit. And it didn't show because it's too large of a document. That's a, it's again, it's a, uh, it's a feature that helps you save on uh, the panel. Um, and you'll see, so it's already selected for Northwind. I see that my uh, total sales by region, it's, um, and you, you can have um, these KPIs as well. I see that, um, that Asia is red. And I want to find out a little bit more about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to sales analysis. And what this is, this is a new feature in, in Excel 2013. It's called Power View. It's, um, uh, it's funny, actually. I, I was in Redmond probably about a, about a month and a half ago. And the head of the, the, um, the Excel group, he's, he's kind of an eccentric guy. But he's, you know, he's, uh, he's, he comes from a very long tech background. He said that he's going to make data sexy. And I was, I was waiting to see what it looked like. <laughs> this is what I'm making. And now, you know, I agree with them. It's amazing some of the, the, um, the improvements they've had here. So this is an example. It's, it's big maps. And, it, uh, it, you know, you can, you can actually extend Excel um, out to the, the Internet. And this is just one example. It's a, it's a Microsoft example of applications. But with the, the broad breadth of uh, partners that we have or, or, or people like yourselves, uh, there's, there's a, a million applications that you can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select on India. And I see that it's got, um, I've got deluxe economy and regular. So I want to, I'm going to actually go to, to Northwind, make sure I'm uh, with the right company, not my own company, but with their, their sales data. And I'm going to show the filters. And, uh, and again, these filters are dynamic based on which, uh, which one of these areas that I'm pointing to. Uh, but I'm going to go up here, and I want to make sure that I'm just filtering on deluxe and economy. You see it's all completely dynamic, and I, uh, I can tell from this that my economy sales have, have seemed to be um, steadily growing, whereas my deluxe have, have fallen off. So that, that gives me some, a little bit more information there as to why the, um, why the, the sales in India have been lagging. So, so with that, I'm going to actually I'm going to turn it back over to Samir. Um, to make sure that we, I know we have a lot of information to cover, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it back over to him, and we'll have a couple more demos later on to, uh, to, to address. Um, oh, did you have a question? Yeah, quick question. Is the, on your chat, you know, if you, when you're on a virtual private network, it's okay, but if you live in public uh, domain, you can date it? Yes. So, so his question was, um, when you're on the public domain, is your data encrypted within IM, right? Within IM, or when you're sharing the PowerPoint presentation? Right. So the answer uh, from Samir here is yes. Yeah. I mean, and think of uh, think of how uh, even I think it was 2007, exchange 2007, where we had RBC over HTTP for email, where I no longer have to be signed in if I'm working from home. I don't no longer have to VPN and uh, to get my email, my corporate email, because it's securely actually connecting it. And it's the same concept again extended to the instant messaging and all the other things. So, yeah, I mean, because that, that's something that I do practically every day uh, at, at work as well. Um, so, no, and hopefully the, the demo gave you a, 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 a sense of all the different, I mean, we went through a massive number of things. And we, in the name of social, we, I think, a lot, we looked at communication, collaboration, uh, cloud services. We talked about business intelligence, being able to kind of... Uh, and I think one thing that I think uh, I, I want to make sure kind of we kind of take away from, especially the last part of the that long demo was, you saw that Excel file that was created by someone once. It's it's actually connected to a database in the back end. It's get refreshed automatically based on whatever cadence you decided or the, or the author created in the first place. It could ha actually happen on, on a minute by minute basis as well. But the the real the real core value to the business is that. 
I could be an end user and I have no idea how to create that KPI dashboard. I have no idea how to work with different tables. But I can open that up and actually, based on the, the, the specific scenarios or the specific questions I have, I'm able to easily filter on that just using my mouse and keyboard and, and that, that's it. And, and that is really the key, which is you bring BI or business intelligence to the masses in a way that's more intuitive and doesn't require that end user like myself to go and ask Don, who might have created that report, hey, saying, you created this report for Northwind Trader, how about X? Or you created it for India, how about for China? I mean, that is the sort of inter like iterations that typically happen <coughs> in those companies. And that, this is what something that uh, can help prevent that or minimize that to a, to a large extent. And that's really key when you think of big data, BI, and, and actually bringing that into a productivity conversation for every, everyone you know, in the company. And based on access rules and everything else, you can kind of also completely control who sees what and, and which part of You can actually control which part of an Excel spreadsheet in one tab you can one person see versus the other. And there are lots of controls that you have built in that actually enables you to get, uh, manage that as well. So with that, uh, you can flip to the other machine. Thank you. So. Uh, so we talked about devices, we talked about cloud, and, uh, uh, we talked about uh, social in, in, in the business setting. Let's kind of uh, touch very quickly on two more topics, and, and I know I want to be very aware of, uh, of the time as well. So we talked about cloud, and I think uh, I think I've touched uh, at a high level already in terms of when we think of cloud, we actually are thinking of bringing the capable, the 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 core benefits of any cloud service. Right? I mean, especially in this context.